the wildlife of Star Wars Battlefront II. The Bantha. These large and furry mammals, indigenous to Tatooine, are seen in high numbers and are well integrated into planetary life. Remains have been found that predate most recorded civilizations. Highly intelligent and extremely social, Banthas show a curious fascination with the bones of their ancestors, gathering them together in special areas and fondling them. <laughs> the Matriarch, the oldest, strongest, most capable female in the herd, keeps an ever-vigilant eye trained for Bantha predators. The Centaur. These nasty, tree-dwelling rodents swarm together to overtake prey, mainly woolamanders and whisper birds. Always on the move, even their young are born in transit. Their metabolisms are extremely high. Centaurals must eat often or they will starve to death in a couple of hours. Hungry centaurals will turn on each other as a last resort, cannibalizing the weaker among them. The Dewback. This large, desert-dwelling reptile gets its name from its main method of hydration, by licking early morning dew off its neighbors' backs. Back licking reinforces bonds between the animals. Though usually slow, they are capable of concentrated bursts of speed up to 50 kilometers per hour. Because of its size, the dewback has few enemies, but their eggs, which they bury in the sand, are easy prey for many predators. Woolamanders. Semi-intelligent, primate-like mammals, woolamanders live in troops in the upper reaches of the Masasai trees. Males have loose throat pouches for morning vocalizations. Round pot bellies accommodate digestion and fermentation of a largely fruit-based diet. Females give birth to one young at a time. Young are breastfed and cradled in their mother's powerful front claws. Woolamanders are constantly alert, always on the lookout for predators. The Tauntaun. Tauntauns belong to a large class of reptomammalian herbivores, providing transportation, meat, and wool. The common or giant Tauntaun can reach speeds of up to 90 kilometers per hour, generally strong and swift running. All species are warm-blooded with a self-regulating internal temperature system. Body secretions released through scales create a distinctly unpleasant odor. The Eopi. Eopis are swift-moving herbivorous mammals that can cover long distances with minor moisture loss. Easily domesticated, they are used mainly as beasts of burden and in caravans. When startled or angry, Eopis spit undigested stomach contents at passers-by. Extremely annoying and disgusting. When Eopis become too old to work, many Tatooine families give them to their children as pets, as they become completely acclimated to handling. The Runyip. The Runyip is a large, stubborn herbivore that roots and feeds on decomposing forest mulch. Grumpy in temperament, it emits loud grunts as it feeds. It has flexible lips for sifting through dirt. Profogs. These large, comical rodents form complex underground burrowing systems called towns, Horns, snouts, sharp incisors, and powerful claws are used for defense and as tools for digging. They have a high rate of reproduction, regularly producing litters of six to eight young, six to eight times a year. Profog holes are a major hazard to desert travelers. The Awa. At eight to 10 meters long, Awas are flying cetaceans. They use their wide wings and powerful pectoral muscles to gracefully propel themselves both underwater and in the air. They can fly vast distances in search of prey. When flying, Awas emit high whistling sounds, sonar for underwater navigation, and radar for flying at night. Kaminoans and Gungans have both trained Awas to accept mounts and provide airborne transport. The Ronto, tall, skittish mammals, Rontos amble about the plateaus of Tatooine's higher deserts. Two sets of ears, the long set is attuned to low frequencies while also helping with heat dissipation. Ronto bands are mostly female. They organize around their young in a protective outer circle. Ronto males can be seen neck fighting, skirmishes seemingly for dominance, in which they bang their heads together like hammers. I'd like to dedicate this video in loving memory to all the species lost in the destruction of Alderaan. A special thanks to my mom for buying me this awesome Star Wars animal book 16 years ago for $40. Jesus Christ. I actually have my own Star Wars animal at home, my very own Wumpa. He's seven years old, hasn't grown his horns yet, but his claws and teeth are definitely strong. <laughs>